name is George Thomas. I was walking through my house earlier today and I felt this cold blast of wind coming through. I found out that it was coming through an outlet. I figured there's got to be a way for me to be saving more money. I got to be losing money when this air is coming through like that. I got involved with G-Tech and became a G-Tech ambassador to Hazelwood. It's all about saving energy and I found out there were some small retrofit things you could do that can really change the difference in your house comfortability and save you a little money. So today I'm going to show my son how to do some of these easy, ret easy retrofits. This is George Thomas Jr. Hey, how you doing? And one of the things I talked about when we started was how I felt the cold air coming in from the outside wall in the outlet. This is what your outlet looks like and the plugs will be here. What we have here is an easy insulator. You use a flat tip screwdriver, take out the screw, you don't have to touch anything electrical. Take this and place it right behind your outlet. What it'll do is insulate the outlet from the outside wall. Also, the same thing goes for your light switches. Same process. You take out two easy screws, you don't have to touch anything electric, and you place that right behind, and it will stop cold air from coming through. It's more, really more important than you think because a lot of cold air comes through those outside walls through the outlet. So, Dad, when I stand next to the window, I feel this cold breeze coming through. Well, you know what? We're probably losing a lot of heat through that window and a lot of cold air is coming in. But I can show you how to insulate that window. It's pretty simple. So, I can show you how to save us a lot of money and it'll make the room warmer. You won't feel that cold blast of air. These are window plastics for eight windows. And I'm going to show you how to put one up. First thing you want to do, son, is open a pack. You will find that this plastic, which looks so small, actually spreads out large enough for a window. Grab one end. I'll grab the other end here. And we will stretch it out. Frankly, you could do this by yourself, but it's really a two-man job. Lay that down. What we have here is the double-sided adhesive. And what we'll do is place that here along the seam of the window. Okay. Once that's in place, grab your end. We will place the plastic right on top of the seam of that double stick plastic, make it really tight and get a nice seal. That will save us a lot of energy, a lot of money, and it'll make the room a lot warmer. We have it up there secure. If you blow dry it on the inside, it'll tighten it up because it'll get hot. Oh, that's good to know. All right. So now it's time that we're done with the windows. I want to show you how to do the doors because a lot of people don't realize how much heat goes out from under your door. This is a door strip, it's a small piece. There's a backing on it. You tear off the backing. And what you do is you put it right on top of your door jam to where this piece here, this little plastic tip, will cover the very bottom of your door. It will save us so much energy and it'll make the room so much warmer. It's between these light bulbs here and those round light bulbs. Well, the round light bulbs are called incandescent light bulbs. It's what everybody used to use, but they're highly inefficient. These are CFL light bulbs. There are also LED light bulbs. They're a little more expensive. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we can save money using CFL light bulbs. Okay. So, so this is a CFL 13 watt light bulb. Okay. But it's like having a 60 watt incandescent light bulb. One of the big differences is it only costs about a dollar and fifty seven cents to run this light bulb a year. So that is a big difference. Another thing is it's closer to natural light, closer to sunlight. So maybe if you're drawing, it would be closer to being outside. That's awesome. Now we've got the 18 watt, and the 18 watt is like having a 75 watt incandescent light bulb, and the 23 watt is like having a 100 watt. Wow. You can get them in different colors and everything, but it's a truer, clearer light. Another thing that saves us a little money, son, is I installed these soft glow night lights. They run at half a watt. We don't have to take them out, but it prevents us from having to turn on every light at night when we walk through the house. Hmm. So it's going to save us a little money in the That's long run. So we covered the windows, the outlets, the lights, the doors. But when I'm playing video games and I turn the system off, I still see those red lights. Um,
What is that? Well, uh, that's called phantom energy use or plug load. Okay. And there is a way that actually does cost us money because when you turn your game off, your TV off, mm -hmm. all those other machines are actually still running in the background. So what we have here is an energy saving smart surge protector. Okay. And you'll notice that it has a master plug. You want to plug your TV in here and all your components into this. When you turn your TV off, it would shut these down. Hmm. These two here, these three here, will always be live. So maybe your phone charger goes in there or something or rather. Or that way, these won't run in the background and they won't run until you need them. And it will save you some energy and save us a little money. And because these will turn off, it'll save us up to $84 a year. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome.